So I've had several people say, Tom, can you show us a video of how to make the conference table for assignment three? The answer is yes. Let's go. I'm going to share my screen. Doop. And we're going to go to SketchUp. Um, as you know, the information about how to do this is in Econ and Stoga, right there. So I'm supposed to do all these things. I'm just going to go ahead and blast away in SketchUp. Um, you can follow those instructions and follow along. Here's Laura. She just showed up for our meeting, uh, our conference meeting, and she's wondering, like, how come there's no table here to sit at? So let's solve that problem right now. So there's our six foot by three foot um, rectangle that I'm supposed to draw there. Push pull. Um, I'm going to go up two inches, two inches. Now you'll know I'm working on the desktop version of it. You can work on either the desktop or the the um, web version of this. I kind of prefer the desktop. All the same tools exist in both places. So don't feel like you can't do it on the web. You just have to hunt around a little bit more. Um, what I just did was draw that little profile on the edge there. Now I'm going to select this bottom surface and say, follow me with that. And it chops that surface off on the whole thing. Isn't that cool? Now what I'm going to do is drag this table up 30 inches into the air. If I triple click, it selects all the connected geometry. Um, move tool, M for move, and I can just make sure it's on the blue axis, 30 inches. Now we've got a table floating 30 inches in the air. Laura's still looking at us like, what the schmutz, people? This is not a good thing. Let's solve that problem. So I'm supposed to now, it says, um, put a measure two inches in from the edges of the table. So here's a measuring tape right here. I'm going to click in here and say two for that one. Did I type? No, I typed something wrong, didn't I? Two. Oh, it is two. Okay. I'm close to the thing. It's hard to see in perspective. Two and two. So now what I want to draw is a three by three rectangle at this spot. Three by three. It's a square, Tom. It's not a rectangle. Thank you. And now I'm going to use my push pull again and pull that down the same 30 inches. Now I've got a leg that reaches down to the bottom. Um, by the way, I'm just hitting the O to get the orbit tool. I'm using my two fingers on a trackpad to zoom in and out. You can also use a mouse wheel. And um, I'm using the space bar to get to my selection tool, that arrow right there. Like now, for example, doink, doink. What I want to do is scale that. I'm going to use the scale tool lives here or it lives up here. And I'm going to shrink the bottom of this thing so that the outer edge is straight and it goes in 67%, which, you, as you know, is 2 over 3. I want this to be 2 by 2 here. It was 3 by 3 here, so that's 2 thirds. Okay, now what I want to do is make this leg into a component. I'm just going to select the whole thing like that. Right click or control click. Make me a component. Your leg. I am so. I'm typing in all caps, just like Donald Trump, my hero. <laughs> Not. Okay, what I want to do now is um, I want to rotate another leg from this one. So if I just touch my option key, um, what it'll do is say you're going to make another one. So then I click, and then I can kind of drag this thing. My option key stopped working. Click. There we go. And then click. And, oh, I didn't select my leg. What the heck? Who, Who's in charge here? So you got to have something to copy, of course. So now if I touch my option key, it says you might want to clone that. I do. And then I get another one. And you'll know that what I'm doing is I want to make sure that that edge, see that edge right there? This one is the straight one. That edge right there is the one that I want to be over here. So what I might do is stop right there when I get to 90. See how it stops at 90. And then what I can do is with my same measuring tape, measuring tape, pull in two inches from this side, two. And now I know exactly where I want to be. In fact, I can do the same thing here, two. You'll notice it says you probably want to go two because you've already done that before. Now with my move tool, I can very carefully only move your only move stuff on the move with the move tool. Um, on one axis at a time. So I'm going to start here and go on the red axis until I get to that line. And then I'm going to hold this corner because I want that corner to snap to this. Hold that corner 
and then go on the green axis until it goes snap on the intersection. So now I've got two of my four legs. You know what I'm going to do now. I'm just going to orbit a little bit here so I can see better what's going on. I can grab those two legs, shift click to get the second one, and then I can rotate those two guys, not that tool. This one, or there it is there. Um, and I can, I could go find the midpoint and then use that inference and the midpoint from here, midpoint, and it will tell me, there you are, you snap to the midpoint of both of those two things. And it will kind of find that spot for me. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I do want my option key touched again so that I get another one and then rotate those two guys over to here. Not very close to the center, but that's okay. And then I can use my move tool and pull those back on the green axis. Don't get off your green axis until I'm happy with how that snaps to the bottom. Cool. So now I've got a four-legged table. Laura's starting to think maybe this is going to be a good conference after all. But now I want to make um, a few changes to this. So important to note, we've got components. Basically, that means that anything that happens to one component, these are all instances of an existing component. So if I change one, it'll change all of them. But I can't edit it until I double-click on it. Then it opens up that particular one. And then if I said, well, I want to put, you know, wood, for example, or water um, on my table. I could do that. And you notice, bing, 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 it starts to fill in the other legs because they're instances of this one component. And so whatever I do to this one affects them all. Click and click. I could go back and do other things to that, but you get the idea. Um, the last thing I want to show you is how to do those curved pieces up here. So if we said we want to put, um, that's looking pretty good. I could, you know, fill the top of that and do some things to it. Um, what I want to do is put a curved piece right in here between these two. So I'm just going to zoom back a little bit. I want to be able to see both sides of this thing. Um, if I were to draw a rectangle right now from the midpoint of this leg to the midpoint of that leg, and then pull back and then say I want that it's two feet and it's one and a half inches. Let's make that two feet, two feet comma 0.75 and I get three quarters of an inch um, thick board. Then with my push pull I can grab that shape, pull it straight down say four inches and then as you know you've got this fussy little thing right here that doesn't quite connect up. So we're going to grab that edge with our selection tool and then M move it on the green axis until it goes clank into the table. It doesn't actually make that noise but you get the idea. Um, I would do that here as well. I'm just going along quickly so you get the idea. Um, so then once I've got both sides fitted and I'm happy with that, I'm going to draw an arc with this two-point arc tool right here. They call it a two-point arc but it's unfortunate because it's actually a three-point. I'm going to put an endpoint there an endpoint there, and then at the midpoint, I'm going to pull that up and make sure it says on face because I want that to be on the face of that um, board that we put in there. And I can decide how tall the bulge is. Let's say the bulge is two inches tall. Now, with my push pull tool, I can grab that face, push it back until it meets the backside, and look at that. Isn't that cool? So, there's how you make those curved corbels underneath to hold the table together. I hope you find yourself going, wow, does that ever answer all the questions I had? See ya.